from the integration of Kripper is our playlist number four. We tried our best to explore different strategies from a distance. So, syempre, no? virtual learning, remote learning, you call it whatever name you can call it. But the point there is, you are not there real time, no? face to face, in person with your students. And that caused a lot of challenges. So there were really tons of brainstorming. And I tell you, the brainstorming was not just between me, my faculty, but it was also me and my students, student leaders, and the Quipper tech team. So I think that is one thing that I could say that even from a distance, the, the partnership and the collaboration was felt because um, the tech team right away met no, the, the, the support team of Quipper met us right away. How can we further our services to San Pedro College? That was their word. That was, I think, Ockliffe's word. Dean, paano pa ba? Paano ko pa kaya ma-extend yung Quipper services namin, especially ngayon, na mag-online lahat? And that was that. The series of brainstorming allowed us to explore and maximize Quipper in the delivery of our instruction. And what was good is we tried variation. Kasi alam nyo, if you will just meet Zoom, ito ngayon, I'm sure half of us will be sleeping after 30 minutes of my talk. That's why I'm trying to make it fast. But variation is the key. Creativity of the presentation is the key. And so I was thinking if all faculty will just utilize one platform for lecture and we will just continue with the regular lecture like this and we will just migrate from the regular classroom to an online classroom with the same number of hours, I really, I really am certain it will not work. And truly, after a week of doing that, everyone was exhausted. I'm sure you also felt that. We were exhausted, faculty were exhausted as they prepared for their lessons because some of them are not used to virtual classes. And students were also exhausted to be looking at the screens and listening to teachers day in and day out. And so there was this exploring of different strategies from a distance with continuous upgrades in Twitter. So what were those upgrades? We were able to devise, this is particularly, I say my, the product of my contemplation. There I, I realized in this COVID pandemic times, complicated ideas need to be compressed to basic ones. The competencies has to be through the core because if you will just complicate things in a very restrictive platform, then definitely you won't be able to achieve the outcomes that you wanted to achieve. And so I was able to look at the, the egg. I, I'm sure you know the egg. The, the, the egg that we, we consume in our breakfast. What is inside the egg? So what are the things that we wanted to protect definitely the knowledge should be delivered and not just knowledge, but how can you deliver the skills when you cannot see them face to face, when demonstrations are limited so that competence is achieved. That was re really the, the, the cascade. But I said, like a shell, it has to be protected. And the only way to protect that is to deliver instructions in a sensible manner, in an agile mode with utmost creativity. So that is delivering quipper instructions in a sack. Sensible because you appeal to the different senses. So it does not necessarily mean that this is because you are seeing them online. You will just be appealing to their eyes, but also you have to look at the other senses where you can still get feedbacks from them. And then agile. No, agile is not just speed. You have to be quick. If this does not work, come up with another mode again. Agility is the key. 
and creativity. How will you deliver it in such a manner that it may not be at par, but it is close to like seeing your learners in the classroom. So that was that. And so from a distance, we were looking at sensible learning. So we feel that we are trying to hone effective leaders, effective pharmacy leaders, effective students, education, uh, student leaders, and they have to be sensible. And so we have to tap on their sensibility. Agile, agility is the game changer in COVID-19. Why do I say that? Because the agility that we had, okay, allowed us to, to come up with a lot of versions of our instruction. I tell you, when COVID came, we have SPC Flex version one. Then we tried to generate feedback right away after a month of having it. And then we readily change our dynamics. Why? Because we have to be prompt and we have to add speed and agility to how we respond to the very fast changes that COVID presented to us. And then creativity, because in these times of crisis, the only way we influence innovation is when there is digital transformation, there is social innovation, there is even education and entrepreneurship in the way we deliver things. So our very goal is to protect the yoke, and that's knowledge, skills, and competence. And how do we protect them? by ensuring that our virtual learning environment under Quipper is delivered with sensibility, agility, and creativity. And mind you, this was even with laboratories. Pre-labs, post-labs, experiments, skills lab, return demo, even instrumentation, field labs. How are we going to deliver this in pandemic? Okay, but the good thing is, these were the initiatives that SPC and Quipper had. So we had the blended learning, you know, sabi ko dati, from what used to be the Q day, we call it the Q day, the Quipper day, to gamified mastery of assessments. Now we have the 55555 mechanism. What is this 5555 mechanism? So it's a five point survey because we always do this in partnership with Quipper. Um, connectivity and preferences on online learning to the five variations. So we see to it, sabi ko nga sa inyo, variation was the key. Kasi we see to it that the delivery of instruction, even online, should be flexible in such a way that it should be five varieties per faculty. Yun ang ginawa namin. Okay, dapat um, hindi lang pure lecture via Zoom, you should have portfolio assessment, a magazine form, five variations of your delivery as a teacher. Pwedeng pre-dub lecture, post-dub lecture, podcast, and etc. The five assessment, you cannot just assess them using our Quipper assignment. There is also Quipper review. There is also Quipper examinations, an oral examination, um, an actual discussion via the Quipper chat. Okay? And our five-page summary course, it's our farm assist program. So all of these are the five, 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 five modalities that we had. So these were some. And so we have called Quipper Cast. Even in my office, wala nang studyante, nasa office lang ako doing the lecture. Mark was able to help me out in Quipper and provided lecture students. Our regular classes, we're in video cast, podcast, EPT uploads, everything. Okay? To the assessments, we are no longer limiting them to assignment, examination, quiz, and review, but also using paper essay, submissions of their infographics, special OB assessments, and even their case analysis. Last, sabi namin, ano ba talagang importante ngayon? Na yung COVID, kailangan ba ng complicated? No. We just have to instill the basics so that our students will learn the basics. And so we issued a five page so that they will be directed what are the things that they should master, the must know, and the must have. 
And of course, there goes the social responsibility of the department, the institution, and Quipper. And so we have Farm Assist Program. We have students who can be Farm Assist, a sponsor of those, have goals, and Quipper even helped us in providing for some of our students. Meron kasi may mga nasunugan apart from naging um, naging COVID positive sila, namatayan dahil COVID positive. And through donations of our students and our benefactors, we were able to provide this to our, some of our needy students. And then in laboratory, how do we do it? So we had three video lessons, do it self experiments, and all companies can find you. I prepare the ointment, and then they also do their ointments using the using the ingredients they have in their own homes. Yeah, and making of learning activities and assessment programs. Collaborative input is also the one thing that allowed us to 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 breeze through um, the pandemic. So. We have team teachings with my fellow teachers, and I do that. I check that as the dean of the college. So I look at these collaborative inputs using their team teaching courses. And then we introduce the SAC. This is the SAC template. This is my subject on cosmetic product development, and it's all there. So nakikita ko ano yung mga dates, anong title, paano siya ide deliver. Um, we have synchronous, asynchronous, via Quipper, okay, and etc. Then we have strategies like this one, teasers, alam nyo naman, mahilig ang mga estudyante sa ganyan. And so, we really have to beef them up. Alam nyo yung natapos yung isang year, and then they will realize online pa rin. So what we did was, we had this teaser to tease them up. To excite them, diba para lang movie, watch the teaser, so and then watch the movie afterwards. So yan. Um, pati ito, um, hindi naman ako magaling sa photography, but you see, you were able to acquire the skills in ano, kasi ayan, I love it. When my kitchen, when my kitchen becomes my lab. So this is my subject on drug discovery. I hype them up. And then they will like it and they will say, oh, excited na kami to meet you din in the class. This was also the video made by my very own faculty. Look at that. Um, I cannot show the video na lang. Siguro in some other time when you ask for strategies, pwede naman. Now, all of those things were the outcomes of the things we did for relatively a year with pure online learning. But again, due to distance learning, providing high quality, evidence-based progress monitoring and reports makes it a challenge. That is the challenging part. On my account, as an administrator, as a dean, as the leader of the department, how am I going to secure that there is really high quality education? How will I monitor the progress of my teachers, of my faculty? That is where the challenge begins. How do I secure the idea is right? Yeah, the SAC is good, S-A-C. Ang ganding ganda ng SAC or yung 555 namin na strategy. But all of these are our deliveries of instruction. Now, the challenge would be, how are you going to ensure that all of those things are standardized to all of your faculty? That is the tricky part. That is really the tricky part. But again, we just have to have the playlist number five. What's the playlist? <laughs> Moira says, Ipaubaya na lang. Actually, no. That's not the playlist. Hindi ko pwedeng ipaubaya na lang. As an administrator, the head of the department, it is my accountability to the people who trust me and trust the institution that amidst the pandemic, amidst the difficulty of the times, if there are changes felt, these changes should never be 
the source of the water loose of my students. These changes should never be the reason why they will not learn and should never be the reason why they will not become good professionals. And so I say, it's never paubaya. But I say, my playlist number five actually is beat it. Beat the odds of the times. 